Have you ever considered a bank property? Should you be considering it? Here to tell us more and shed some expert light on the topic is our property expert, Simon Bray, CEO of Private Property. Morning, Simon. How's it going, sir? Firstly, what is bank property? Well, really, it refers to all of the property that may be in possession of the bank. So, you know, most uh, people have got a home loan on the property that they own, and unfortunately, some people can't service that home loan debt over a period of time. And in that case, the bank is allowed to uh, repossess the home or sell the home to defray the home loan expenses that are outstanding. And so that's really what bank properties refer to. And on our site, we're lucky enough to have hundreds of bank properties come onto the market every month, and we market those and advertise those to the public. Why would you say a buyer should consider a bank property? Well, the great thing about bank properties is they sometimes a little bit lower than market and the banks offer great assistance on those types of properties. So you're getting a good deal on the one hand, on the other you're getting uh, assistance on things like transfer costs and home loan finance. Uh, and that's what makes bank properties particularly attractive. And when it comes to the private property website, there are different types of bank yeah. properties. Where do you start? Yeah, it can be a little bit daunting, a little bit confusing when you first look at it. But quite simply, you get two major types of bank property. The one is uh, SIE or sale and execution and the other is properties in possession. So quite simply what happens is if somebody can't pay their home loan then the bank f is forced to take that to auction as a sort of matter of last resort uh, and that'll then go to the sheriff of the court and the sheriff of the court will auction it off uh, and we advertise those auctions on the site and you can kind of find out where they're going to be happening and when they're going to be happening. You'll arrive at the auction, somebody will bid for it if the bid isn't what the bank is prepared to sell the property at, then the bank can buy the property uh, back uh, okay. in a way from itself and, and that's what you call a property in possession. So now the bank owns it on their book of properties and then they'll look to market those because they'll want to get rid of those over a period of time as well. And also make some money. Exactly. Now if you do go to an auction for yourself, I can imagine it's, you know, it must be quite an intimidating process. What do you do in that instance? I mean, I'd love South Africans to get more comfortable with the concept of an auction. You know, overseas, auctions are actually the main way property trades hands. So it's only really in South Africa that we're daunted by the prospect of going to an auction. But um, quite simply, if, if you go to an auction uh, or if you're looking to buy auction property, it's worth visiting a few auctions before and just kind of observing what happens. Uh, and you'll notice very quickly that it isn't as terrifying a prospect as you think it might be. Uh, simple things, you'll, you know, you'll register for the auction, you'll put down a deposit, uh, you need to be aware that you're paying a commission to the sheriff if you do win the bid on the property and then it's a normal property transaction after that. You can find finance uh, and, and you can sign a sale agreement. And so you have to be, you actually have to do your research when you do a property auction but what are some of the things for you know, a first time buyer doing that? What must they look out for? Well I think the most important thing is the property is ultimately going to be your property. So you can't shortcut the process of uh, understanding what the market value is of the property so you don't overbid on the price or the value of the property. Um, make sure that you visited the property because often auctions are sold footstuts, so as is. Yeah. Uh, so make sure you visited it and you understand what all the potential pitfalls of the property might be. Uh, those are very important and obviously don't bid on anything you can't get finance for. So understand your own affordability position and understand what you can afford. And I just want to touch on one more thing. When I think of an auction, I think quite a rushed process. Yeah. Is it that rushed or do you have time to go and visit the property, do all the necessary inspections before you decide to buy? Auctions are advertised on private property so uh, you'll know long before the time when the auction is actually going to take place. It gives you the opportunity to view the description, the pictures on the website, organize a visit and go and view the property. Uh, so it's a normal property transaction right up until the time you go to auction. And then at auction, if you arrive early, uh, then it's not a rush. Well, thank you, Simon, for sharing some light for us this morning. Now, if you are considering bank property, you know, and you would like to learn more and see the properties listed, simply log on to privateproperty.co.za.